hello guys welcome back to the another tutorial so in this video we will learn how I actually textured this asset so it's a low poly gaming assets which I have followed with the gaming pipeline so I have multiple UDIMs for this asset like this I have texture set uh, as of now it's 2k so yeah let's start with this so first of all I will go through the body part like this so I have a folder name a car underscore body like this so if I disable all the texture or all the layer this so I have something like this right this is a, just a basic fill layer I have added a multiple fill layers so I have defined the roughness metalness so <clears throat> in the fill layer only i have made a crunch map just for the scratch or the breakdown of the roughness map like this so if we see the roughness map it's actually like this as of now okay so i have decided some roughness styling roughness offsets and all so over that i have a fill layer with my dirts see so I, have, I haven't done much for that part right so in the dirt layer also I have a gradient slightly gain with what happens is when our assets or when our low poly models or our real life models get into the environment they have some slightly gradient discolorations due to the environment effect right so over that I have a AO dirt which is gonna be defining our surface roughness see we have a slight difference right so above that i have a surface layer as detail in which i haven't tweaked with much details but yeah it's a kind of high frequency details see like this above that i have a edge sphere kind of dot but we don't have a much play with this we i will show you this affects in the upper layers we have a side rust right so i have selected a metal edge view in this it's like this it's a slight uh, i have uh, tweaked with the values of the metal scavengers so in all of that i have a rusted panels as of the oxidation rusting we have a rusted panels like this till now we have something like this in which we have uh, rusting over our panels over our curvatures above that i have a body dripping so it's a my main concept was the old abandoned car right so to fulfill that also we have multiple drippings of the oils oil stains or other drippings we have a body drip in body drip also i have a fill layer call grunge cracked deep so i have to with the balance stick with the values stick with the tiling amounts so of that i have panel rust so yes so in the panel rust option i have multiple layers right so in the multiple layers also we have some base materials i have to the white paint i have a rust layer in last day also i have a white anchor point i have i have a gray scale of anchor point for the rust we have a rust glow which is i have connected with the rust anchor point yeah. so above that i have a layer called old rust which indicates a rust over our windows panel see we have a slight window rust i have multiple reference for that i will show you see we are following some concept renders from the real life like these to follow our rust drippings color variation tire dots and all right so in this also we have multiple layer to tweak with 
high multiple fill layer with multiple uh, grunge or grayscale maps so in, in top rest I have this so yeah in top layer also I have multiple layer in beside this so to just tweak with the color variations or the rust variation on uh, all over the surface right till now we have a sufficient amount of rust dust and stains on our car body which a uh, abandoned car should look like see the color variation we have if I will tweak with the base color see okay since uh, for the inner panel for the side panel we have multiple roughness right so for the bonnet part for the stains for the rust it, we have a dent like a dent kind of look on the surface see if I'll take with the normal so I have a dent value so I use some of the light curvature like this see to have a kind of a bumpy look there if I'll show you this uh, the, the normal map you can see we have sir, uneven surfaces due to the dents and the uh, rusting of the cars right know so out of that I have a surface dirt which is actually looking good right see part of the video so we have gone through how I textured the body base so in next part I will show you uh, how I textured the glass I have textured the tires and the panels of the tire rims so yes thank you stay tuned